few unlaunchables, huh? Welcome back to staring at the, uh, the galaxy. Oh, God, you hit me in the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> What is this, Doctor? Now what? What is this, Doctor Sandal? Who throws his shoe? Honestly, I feel like he's got Doctor Sandal. Mister Sockers is is one of his patients. No, no, button <laughs> cock sucker. <laughs> it's Doctor Sandal. Is that dog shit? Just don't get hit in the face with a <laughs> sandal. That's why I was trying not to hit you with it. Does it look like don't shit to you? Smell, I guess. <laughs> I could just be his upper left. What you got to hang out? I hate how I'm having to fucking wait. Bailey, what's all that power equipment in your front yard anyway, Steve? Be out there. That is a goddamn mess out there. I don't want to talk no more about it. Well, don't get Robin fired up on it. She'll so start blaming it on the neighbors. The neighbors brought the power equipment. Yeah, it's their she fault. go across the street and bitch him out. Well, Dad stopped over earlier, seeing what they were doing. Neighbors walking out with their kids, mind their own business. Robin started. <laughs> Your husband is she, she, your husband is a responsible for why they're over here. I don't, bl I don't blame him for wanting their shit tore up again. They I don't like them, and I don't want to be mean to them, but I wasn't going to lie But you still want to stir shit up. Do some Jerry shit. Springer shit. I was dead, just man. letting her know that Duke threw him under the bus and blamed them. It's a shame. Jerry Springer is a legend. He was what? He was a mayor of Cincinnati. What the fuck are you talking about right now, Steve? Sure well, not. Talking about Jerry, Jerry Springer. Springer. You all know who Jerry Springer is? No shit, I know who Jerry fucking Springer is. You didn't know he was the mayor of Cincinnati? I actually did know that. There was actually a funny story behind that too. So you were like two and you voted for him. <laughs> so when I was in high school, I was in a um, a Cincinnati history class. And we were doing some like questionnaires and whatnot, like it was like a, basically a game that we were doing. And one of the questions, like, because I didn't know shit, so nobody was like looking at me and whatnot, and did not think anything of it. But um, the only question that I knew the answer to was, what uh, what famous politician who was the mayor of Cincinnati tipped a strip got. What was it? Something got, like, got processed. Like, it was a, he, he tipped the stripper with a check or tipped the hooker with a check or some shit. And everybody was, like, you know, everybody was quiet. Like, a good, like, 30 seconds pass. And, like, nobody knows what the fuck, like, who the fuck it is. And I'm just sitting there in the corner, like, oh, man, I don't want to be the only, I don't want this to be the only thing that I know in this fucking class. Because it's not something that, like, it wasn't things that we study. It was just things that we, you know, we just knew off the top of our heads. And uh, I, I told the guy, the one dude in the group, I was like, I think I know who it's like, I think I know who it is. I'm pretty sure I know who it is. And he's like, fucking put your hand up. <laughs> and I'm like, but he, I'm like he, but he was team captain. So he was supposed to be the one that did, like, the, did the answers. And I'm like, put my hand up and that teacher did not like me at all just because I didn't get the two fucks in that class and um <laughs> fucking everybody's like he just goes uh Zach and I'm like Jerry Springer <laughs> and he's like he just looks at me he's like that is correct <laughs> <laughs> and everybody like immediately like shot their fucking glare towards me and I'm just like I, I'm sorry, I just knew that. <laughs> why would they make... Why would they Nobody make? fucking knew it in the class. I'm like, okay. The first time I saw Jerry Springer, he was a news anchor on one of the... I think it was Channel 5. And then I remember him being the mayor of Cincinnati. I go, oh, that news, news anchor is the mayor of Cincinnati. And then I saw him on TV with a bunch of, you know, hookers fighting <laughs> on... 
the Jerry Springer show. Like, ah, oh, that's that news anchor that was the mayor. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> just, the story keeps building. <laughs> uh, that's how it went in, in my head. Oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> Jerry had an arc. <laughs> and now he's dead. So the arc is over. Rip Jerry Springer, I guess. But it was just so funny because like, everybody looked at me like I was fucking crazy. I'm like, that's like that's what you got right. I'm like, I'm like um, the only thing you knew was the hooker question. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not anything about the hooker question. It's about everything of being a Jerry Springer answer. Like everybody was just completely fucking shocked. And I never really watched this show that much. I mean, if you've seen one, I feel like you've seen them all. Oh, I love watching. I mean, it wasn't. Show. They had them all. I didn't Austin hate Powers. it, but it just wasn't like. I didn't feel like I needed to see them all. I know the old man watched them all. But most of them were all staged. Yeah. And people I watched it. I mean, if that's what you know. Yeah. It had its place in history for sure. I feel like that. Yeah. You know, Okay, was, there's a fucked up family. They're going to fight each other and throw chairs at each that other. That show ran a long time, though, didn't yeah. it? I always think of it as in the 90s show, but it ran a lot longer than that. It was more like in the early 2000s. Like, well, when, when was he the mayor? Because he was the mayor in the early 90s, wasn't he? That was the late 80s. Was it the late 80s? Look it up that long show. Well, the show ran from like 91 to 2000. It wasn't that early, was it? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was it, was, that, it was sometime between 91 and 95. Yeah, I thought it was mid-90s when they started doing that. And it just ended like four years ago. Well, then he was a judge. He yeah, judge then he had that judge that. show. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what? what is the... From 1991 to 2018. Oh, you're right. So what now? Zach is right again. If it involves Jerry Springer, then I'm right. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what show ran? He was also the host of America's Got Talent from 2007 to 2008. I knew that. I just didn't know the date range. Just and the courtroom that. show Judge Jerry from 19 to 22. Yep. Don't forget, he was on Baggage, too. Who's the host of Baggage? I always have to do shows of all these idiots. Oh, Baggage was a really good show. Okay. You just spin around in circles. Spinning you round and round in circles. Oh, that looks like rain again. Rain, rain. Go fuck yourself another day. <laughs> Swing. We got another dark temple key. I just need one more, yeah, dumb but I think this is a save spot. A yeah. save spot? Look at that. Come with me and you'll see. See you next time. A dark world pure in the The game is saved and your energy is fully replenished. Thank you, Matt, for reading that. You did a good job. I'm very proud of you. Good. Now quit touching yourself over there. <laughs> but you have proof of your dirtiness. No, go fuck yourself. We need to play Ghost and Goblin on this channel, Steve. I would love to see Steve's rage on that game, to be honest. I would have to get some practice back in, because I've actually played and beaten through it once. I had the, And the, technically in that game, you got to go through it twice to actually beat it and get the true ending. But they kind of speed up the gameplay oh, just fuck. a little bit. And I played about halfway through the second one, and it's just... I got one for Steve that Steve made me play, and I've beaten, and now I'm going to have him play it on the channel. And that's Diddy Kong Racing. Oh, yeah. That one may be fun. It's fun. That would actually be one we can all play. I feel like... We there's need... there's one race that I'm concerned about you doing that might be interesting, but you're concerned. 
concerned that the controller survives that experience. Oh, yeah? Oh, oh I gotta wait through this cutscene of refilling the ammunition. I don't even know if I actually needed it or not. Refilling. Refilling. Well, I know your ammo supply, and we're at 10 minutes, so that's uh, probably a good That's a good place to stop. It's a good point to go fuck yourself. All right, well, next time, we'll continue looking for the Dark Temple Key. We'll T see you on the next key. one. You can watch your goddamn mouth. What the fuck are you talking about? I was saying something about a key and saying it wrong, going T.